Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. One of the most frequent questions which I have been getting nowadays is how to render the 3D model. So in most of my drawings, I have made the simple 3D drawing but avoided the rendering. But this video is completely dedicated to the rendering part and here I'll tell you about rendering the model. So if you want to learn how to model this speaker or how to create this speaker, then follow the link on your screen. And if you want to directly download this model for this tutorial, then follow the link in description. Now, in AutoCAD 2016, AutoCAD made some major changes in the rendering part. And for that, I would suggest you to follow this tutorial with AutoCAD 2016 or later versions. Although you can use previous versions also, but it will not be very compatible or you may see some changes in the tool palettes and some other tools so let's start with AutoCAD 2016 and before that move to 3d modeling workspace now in 3d modeling workspace go to this visualize tab and here we'll apply materials so that's the most important part before rendering so you need to apply some materials to this object right now the default material which is global material has been applied to all of these geometries and you're seeing this these different colors because they are present on different layers and the layers have been assigned their proper colors now for applying materials go to this materials panel and click on this material browser now this material browser will pop up with a list of all the materials which I have used in this drawing. So obviously we don't want this list. We need a clean list. So for that click on purge, press enter and click on purge all in order to remove every data which is not required. Now let's click on close and now we have a clean drawing. Let's save it first. Okay. Now we know that this object is obviously made with plastic. So I'll select here plastic from the list and I'll try to apply this plastic material to all of these components. So let's first start with this latex. So I'll apply latex to this red portion. For that, select this latex, click on this small arrow and this will be added to our list. Now drag and drop it on the drawing. Similarly, go to other objects. For example, move up and select this fine textured black color and we'll apply it to these rings of the speaker so let's select click on this arrow now let's select it from this list and apply it here pan it down select it again and apply it to this ring as well now we will apply dark gray color to this green portion of the geometry for that let's select which one looks better here so we are supposed to select dark gray and this is smooth black well this smooth black will also look good so let's select this click on this small arrow and now let's apply it to the screen part and here we have it now we need to apply a white plastic material to the remaining portion here for that here we have this PVC white material so let's select it and click on this small arrow and select this material drag it and drop it here similarly drag it and drop it on this and drag it and drop it on this small part as well we also need to drag it and drop it on this part so let's select it drag and drop it but it's not changing its color so we'll try some other method for that let's select this part first and for selecting i'm using this selection cycling menu so whenever you click here and you have multiple objects that menu will appear and if you're not able to see that menu then click on this selection cycling button on the status bar and if the selection cycling button is not available on the status bar then click on this customize button and select selection cycling and it will appear on the status bar now once you have it on status bar select it then right click and select assign to selection and now the material is applied now we need to apply material to all of these remaining portions for that we now need a gray colored object so let's look for the gray color object and here we have this laminated navy and here we have the required fine textured dark gray so let's select and click on this small arrow now let's select the object drag it and drop it similarly select it drag it drop it now select drag and drop and also let's orbit this geometry to see remaining portion and select and drag and drop and we have complete geometry here we have a 2d polyline that we don't need so let's select this polyline and erase it if you want 
and let's orbit this drawing and here it is we also have some other polylines but that's not going to cause any trouble for this case so let's leave those polylines and now we have applied all the materials to the geometry so let's now close this material browser now we're going to save the view of this drawing for saving view first arrange it in the way you want it to be plotted so this is how I want it to be plotted let's keep it a little bit large in size also make sure that perspective is selected from here so now perspective is selected and let's go to this view manager click on new and give this view a name so I'll name it as custom view so let's type custom view and click on OK and click on OK again so now we have our view so here you can see that the custom view has been applied now let's see how our model looks so before that here in render preset select medium quality and this will create a quick rendering and uh, let's click on this render to size now wait for a moment for rendering to complete in this rendering window and you'll be able to directly see an output here and the rendering is now complete and this is how a model is going to look under current settings so not that bad and not very impressive also so we need to make some tweaks in this model so let's close it and now let's first go to this lights panel click on this no shadows fly out and select full shadows now as I told you I'm not going to add Sun or any artificial light to this drawing I'll only use default lighting for that we have some presets also so let's go to this render panel expand it and select this render environment and exposure now you can directly see that the environment is currently turned off so let's click on this button to turn on the environment and now here we have this sharp highlights selected so let's now go to this rim highlights select it and here we have exposure value of 9 let's change it to 8 press enter and you can directly see the output in the drawing and also we have white balance set to 6500 so let's keep it at 6500 and click on this environment let's close it and go to render and render it again and this time we have a much better looking a rendering and now you can clearly see the quality of rendering has improved considerably okay so if you want to improve this quality even more then again go to this render render environment and exposure and you can also select some other backgrounds for example let's say that we want to select this village background and in this case a background of village will be added and here we have the exposure value let's change it to 9 or let's change it to 8 okay and now let's close it let's click on render to size although this look this will look very impractical and yes this does the amount of brightness which we have selected the exposure which we have selected is not appropriate so let's now again go here and change the value from 8 to 12 let's close it apply the render and now here we have again a different kind of result so in this way you can select different kind of background presets and you can create your rendering now even if you're not satisfied with this rendering you can use cloud account so let's first change this rendering setting and change it to rim highlights and here I'll change it to exposure 8 I'll keep it at 8 I'll first see how this rendering looks here just to have an idea okay this rendering looks okay to me and now let's save this drawing now you can create the same rendering in your cloud account and for creating that rendering you need to first save it so since i have saved it i can directly click on this render in cloud button on 360 panel but before that make sure that you're logged in so i you can see that i have already logged into my autodesk 360 account so log in then click on render in cloud and select the view which you want to render so I just want to render custom view which we created and click on start rendering now this will upload your model to the cloud account and you'll get a notification on your email and also a pop-up message like this so here we have a pop-up message which is showing that our rendering is in progress so let's click here and see the progress of our rendering and here we have the final rendering so let's click here and let's scroll it down and here you can see the final rendering 
so using this method you can also get your rendering like this now if you want to again use some other settings for example let's say that we want to ex adjust the exposure value so let's select adjust exposure and change different values and you can directly see changed value or the effect here so let's change this exposure value from 13 to something else and here is the change so obviously we don't want to change it that much here it is now highlights 0 0.44 let's change it to okay move it even further mid tones is set to 1 and no yes 0. Point, well it looks 1 1 looks perfect shadows we can highlight the shadows saturation well let's keep it at one let's not mess with this and the white point and here we have it okay so i think we should also keep it at this value and click on apply and the same settings will be applied here to our rendering on the cloud account and here we have a new rendered image with the current settings applied to it now you can download this drawing directly from this arrow so select it and click on download image and if you want to go ahead with the rendering in your own AutoCAD window then again go here and this time you can select some other presets for example let's select high or the coffee break quality that will render for 10 minutes lunch quality that will render for 60 minutes and overnight quality that will render for 12 hours straight so depending upon the time taken the rendering quality will also improve so i'll select high this time as the rendering time or the preset and click on render now this will obviously take more time than usual but the quality of rendering will be greatly improved than the previous one so here we have this complete rendering and it nearly took us two and a half minutes for this rendering and you can clearly see that the quality is now improved when you compare it with the previous rendering so here is the rendering and if you want to compare it with the previous renderings then click on this arrow and let's see the previous rendering and here is the f uh, next and then the next rendering and the one which was very bad and here we have it so you can compare all the renderings which we have done so far in this and you can make adjustments to the final rendering let's click it and now if you want to even tweak this rendering setting more then you can also add a custom object on the base for example let's say that we want to add here an object which is made with wood so i'll zoom it out go to home tab and let's select this rectangle i'll make a very large object with a surface so let's go to planner object let's create an object here and we have an object let's click on this home icon and let's go to our view which we have selected so custom view that was the view here we have it now we have missing this space here so let's drag it to that side so let's select it and let's drag it towards that side so as to accommodate that missing surface let's go to that custom view again now we have it now we can apply a material to this as well for applying material go to visualize material browser and this time select wood and now let's select any wood wooden surface so i'll select the material and from here let's click it then we don't need to apply it it has already been applied but in case it is not applied then select the wooden material right click and select assign to selection as you can see that we have already assigned it and we no longer need to assign it but still i'll do it in case we missed it now here we have it now we can again try the rendering so let's again go to this render to size and this time we'll have a completely different kind of rendering so let's wait for a moment for this rendering to complete so here we have this complete rendering and you can see that with enhanced quality it also takes a lot of time to do the rendering and here we have it so I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment box. And thanks again for watching.